Cal Poly students put their learning to the test in a very unique way earlier this month. They climbed behind the wheels of their two modified tractors, Mustang Fever and Poly Thunder, to take on the competition at the annual tractor pull. Mustang Fever was built as a student design project back in 1999. There's a lot of, of uh, custom machine work that goes into putting one of these together. For example, this engine is mounted in the tractor in the opposite direction that it normally would be mounted in an airplane. The propeller would be on that end of the crankshaft. Uh, and so what is interesting about this is, is this engine, since it's in the tractor backwards, it turns opposite to what standard automotive rotation would be. Certainly the chance to work on a tractor that looks like this will get students' attention, but the idea behind the two is hands-on learning. At the same time, on, on the, uh, the green tractor, Mustang Fever, they have a, a computer data acquisition system that they're using to record performance data as the tractor is, is running down the track. So they're recording clutch performance, they're recording exhaust gas temperatures, intake manifold pressure, all of those types of things so that they can look at it after the fact and enter it in the logbook so that they can refer to it and make those types of modifications as necessary for the next competition. Of course, the big payoff comes for the students who get to climb into the driver's seat. And from that point on, man, it was just a build up and uh, on up to, to getting into the seat and getting on the track. And you know, you, you start getting butterflies and you start fogging up your helmet, you know, you're breathing heavy, and finally you get hooked up to the sled, and then it just, it just happens. You, you'll get hooked the very first time you do that. I've driven this tractor once. I drove it one time, and uh, it, is, it is one heck of an adrenaline rush. You, things happen so fast, you, uh, you know, even though we, we tell the students to look at the gauges, you don't even have time to look at the gauges. You know, the tachometer is the most important thing to look at, and uh, it, it happens in, in about 12 seconds. And uh, it's, it's all you can do, really, to, uh, to keep it between the white lines. It's something that will happen for the students a couple dozen times this year. They have 23 events on the calendar. It's gotten easier. It's always just as fun and exciting. Um, and I love driving, but my favorite part is actually getting to watch new time drivers because you get to re-experience that first time drive for yourself, you know, again. So you, you get to watch that build up and you know what's happening and what's going through their mind. And so you try and be there for them and, and make it that much easier for them. But uh, it's, it's a blast. I'm Richard Gearhart reporting.